Live, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you could play a song by Dylan Scott called Ball Cap. And we're going to start out on a G major chord, and we play G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now, you might also want to think about kind of taking the third finger and going to the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string third fret, and that's another way of play your G major through the song. And then on our intro part, which kind of becomes our main verse chorus, we go to a D major chord. When we play D major, our first finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E second fret, and third finger on the B string on the third fret. And if you show them the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord. It sounds really happy. Now on that D chord through the song, you will kind of hear the low E string on the second fret kind of come out of that. And there's a couple different ways you might want to kind of approach that if you want to get in that bass note with the chord. And you could play something called D slash F sharp. One, one way to do that would be doing the D major and taking your thumb and kind of covering up the low E string on the second fret. Another way is to kind of readjust the shape and do first finger on the low E string second fret, second on the G string second fret, third finger on the high E second fret, and the pinky on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a D slash F sharp, or a D with an F sharp in the bass. Now, if you're digging on that G major voicing with three and four, though, you could use something called D sus slash F sharp, where you do the first finger on the low E second fret, second finger on the G string second fret, third finger on the B string third fret, and the pinky on the high E string third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a D sus slash F sharp. And then from the D, we're going to go to an E minor. First finger goes to the A on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the D string 2nd fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really sad. Now you might also want to think about taking the 3rd finger and going to the B string 3rd fret, pinky on the high E string 3rd fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor 7 chord, which sounds really cool too. And then from the E minor, we're going to go into a C major chord, and we play C major. First finger goes to the B on the 1st fret, 2nd finger on the D string 2nd fret, and third finger on the A string, third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really happy. Now you may also want to think about using something called C major nine, where you do your first finger on the D string, second fret, second finger on the A string, third fret, third finger on the B string, third fret, and the pinky on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major nine, and it sounds really, really happy. Through the song, though, there's a couple different strum patterns you may want to kind of think about, kind of through that, that intro progression, which kind of becomes our main verse chorus. And there's this cool little psych out, actually, on our, on our very first verse, where we kind of do the G and then the D, and then we go back to the G to kind of start that over again. But one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like that is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you took the G and just tried that a lot, you have down, down, up. that through that intro progression you have to be down up up down d slash f sharp down up up down up d minor down up up down up c down up up down up and on that first part of the intro you go back to the g and kind of throw in the d slash f sharp before you go back to kind of your main verse chorus now, uh, now through the song too another strum pattern that really kind of matches the recording really well is something called a 16th note strum pattern what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And what I mean by that is if you take the G and do a down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you do in the first beat. And on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down. And then on the third beat, you'd be doing an up on two, down on three. So going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you'd be going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up.
to our main verse course, it's just that kind of our G, D, E minor, C. Now you could word that as kind of the down, down, up, up, down. So you can take the G with the low E string for your bass and kind of keep your down, up, up, down, up bass. Down, up, up, down, G with low E bass. And on the D chord, you can do the D for the bass. Or if you're digging on the D slash F sharp, you can do the low E string for your bass. Down, up, up, down. On the E minor, you have the low E for the bass. And on the C, you'd have the A for the bass. So G with low E bass. G slash F sharp. of how you could strum through Ball Cap by Dylan Scott. So good luck.